Uh, map. No, I keep pressing the wrong thing. Yep. I must remember this. It's got to be through here, hasn't it? Uh, let's go up there. I'm just going to pan around, make sure there's nothing down there. No. Oh, bad deed. I'll make you squeal. Oh, yes. Shield death. No problem. Oh, look, I really like the combat. It's incredibly sort of basic, but the way it actually plays out is quite addictive. Oh, my God. Always one of the quick ones, isn't he? Yeah, on your back, mate. On your back. Oh, yes. Oh. You'll regret the day you were born. Oh, I love the magic system. That's so cool. Oh, yes! You want some? Ha! Go on, take him out, Geralt. Oh, yes! Oh, that is so cool. Quick blast to the old odd, the old odd Vark. Oh yes, puppy dog. <laughs> I'm really enjoying the combat. Oh man, that is just—it feels wicked. That's where we came up from, wasn't it? Let's gonna have a peek in here. Oh yes, if you can click on it, we'll click on it. Uh, there will be at some point, VG dude. Yes, there will, sir. We know how much you like your giveaways. Goose fat, high quality base for blade coatings. Ah, oh, right, okay. So it looks like we'll be able to uh, add a bit of fire or something to our blades, maybe. An unknown potion. Yeah, I think that could end badly. Doesn't look like as much else in here, does there? Let's press the old alt button to make sure. Wonder if you can get armor, or if Geralt's kind of stuck. Ugh. They ride quick, didn't they? Wonder if there's a reason behind that. Oh my God, look! They ducks or pigeons? Ah, oh, it's gonna odd vark them up. Books in cages. It's very Terry Pratchetty. And have a look in the dresser. Can you start a bid? Well, no, because you don't know what you. Well, you can, but it won't work. <laughs> we we still have endurance. It can also be sold or given to someone. Yep. Okay, we'll take that. I think I'm gonna have to speed up the old camera rotation. But having said that. Probably makes for a slightly less traumatic viewing experience for you guys. Just gonna have a knock on this door. Check the barrel first. Blueberries. There's a, there's a lot. Of, you wouldn't have thought there'd be blueberries. Seems like quite a bleak landscape from what little we've seen. Stairs to Trissy's room. What game are you uh, interested then, VGD? You got anything that you've been looking at on Steam sales or anything? Goat's milk and a mutton leg. Oh, mutton! I want. I'm gonna have a uh, lamb on Christmas Day this year. We're not having turkey. What's this? A grindstone weapon upgrade. Can I use that or something? Oh, 
Oh shit, what do I just do? Oh! Oh! What? Oh shit, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Um. Applied oil grindstone. Damage inflicted increased by 20%. Does it actually tell you that? It doesn't seem to say. Doesn't give you that as a viewable buff up there, does it? And we don't want to be doing this, do we? We want to be going. We're looking for. What are we looking for? Calcium equum. Oh, remains back there. Sadly, it is impossible to translate many words used in The Witcher into English. They used many verbs from Old Polish language. Really? I didn't know that, Tannerman. Oh, that's interesting, mate. Oh! Mess with me and die. He don't bugger about with that, does he? Jesus, good lord, you won't want to fight this bugger. Turn off floating messages like too fast and final attack in the game options yet. Well, we won't do that yet, because still learning and all that. Yeah, I, I did, you know, I kind of learned a little bit about old CD Projekt. Um, since they're, they're a very, they're, they're kind of like a PC dev that's very, or, or rather got a very good view around DRM, haven't they? Um, I've certainly been in the limelight quite a lot. Used to light a fire. Oh, I wonder if that will therefore enable me to meditate wherever I want. Mm, wow, Jesus Christ. I mean, just why? Why would you want that on a wall? I mean, how old is this game? Does anyone know? And it looks absolutely fantastic. I mean, it really does. It's definitely got a Neverwinter 2 kind of feel to it. I don't know if there's any uh, similarity between the two engines, but I'm definitely getting a Neverwinter, Neverwinter Nights vibe. Trying to think what that was called actually. Was it um oh what was it called? Aurora? Was it the Aurora engine? Something like that. I'm not I'm not coming on Team Spit when I'm playing The Witcher Freddy, I'm sorry mate, I it just it's not happening dude. As much as I would love to chat to you, Freddy, not while I'm streaming this, bud. What what's up? Just tell me, mate, I'm sure. I'm sure we can figure it out, whatever the problem is, mate. I know I'm getting into a game when my nose is like six inches from the screen, which it currently is. I like the environments. I mean, they're obviously, you know, presumably a little bit barren compared to what we use to these days, just as a result of, I'm presuming, hardware limitations when the game was originally released. But, uh. Ah! Calcium Equum, look! Contains the following substances vitriol and rubido. Rubido. Oh. Viziman Champion, a weak alcohol. Another unknown patient and the fright in a book. Double click or drag. Why would I want a book? Oh, the book adds a bestiary entry to the journal. Uh. Oh my god, what's all this? Jesus, look at all this. Uh, monsters. Frightener. Well, so when am I coming on Minecraft? Uh, I won't be on tonight, mate. I might nip on tomorrow morning, uh, Freddy. Yeah, we had to sort of build over your house on Minecraft, Freddy. We did deliberately not do a two block thick layer of dirt over it, so at least you could get in it. And I did lower your bed. What's up, VG, dude? I can see a question mark, mate, but I don't know what the question mark's for. Frighteners are very rare. They come into being as a result of magical experiments. To create a frightener, a mage like Savola has to possess great power and a basic knowledge of mutation. Frighteners are immune to almost all effects. Susceptibility, sensitive to steel and silver, and very sensitive to loud sounds at high frequencies. We need a whistle. 
In combat, Frighteners rely on their size and strength. They try to knock their opponents down and then deal a lethal blow. Frighteners, Eye and Claw for alchemy. The first mage to create a Frightener was the infamous renegade Dagobert Sulla, a diligent student of the Zericanian Masters of Alchemy and the supervisor of the Trial of the Gra Grasses, carried out at Caer Morhen, which is where we are. Upon beholding the abomination he had created, Sulla is said to have cried, What have I done? He destroyed the monster. His notes, however, survived. Okay, was there anything else in there? No. Okay. Where to now then? Uh, what was the other thing we needed? We needed something called White Gull, which was in a crate, which I think was also upstairs, wasn't it? Uh oh, another crate. Whoa, wicket! <laughs> Perfect. I actually nearly walked off, you know, thinking, oh, it's just probably just another empty room. God, that could have been a nightmare, couldn't it? Actually, you know what? Before I pick that up, let me just check something. Let's just see if that shows up on the jury. Ah, it does look. Oh, okay, okay. We've got a little bit of hand holding here then. At least. If we had not spotted it, we wouldn't have been wandering around for hours. So we take that. Another unknown potion. And a book about witches. I actually want to read these things. Journal. Oh shit. Journal. Where would that have been? Ah! Oh, let's read about Triss. She's setting a very dandy pose there, look. Along with me and the other witches, Triss fought in the defence of Kaer Morhun. The sorceress stood against the mysterious mage, one of the leaders of the assault. She was injured and lost consciousness. Ironically, Triss is allergic to magic, eh? And she, she, she can only be administered natural healing potions. Oh, so that means there must be magical healing then. Okay. Let's read about Leo, the youngest of Kaer Morhun's residents, and he's dead. Killed by the Professor. Two thousand and seven, Tanovan. Jesus, good lord, man. Oh. Where the hell did that go? Got. Well, hang on a sec. That looks like that's. Uh... Oh! Inventory is full, you cannot. Ah, oh, it won't let you carry around loads of weapons then. Okay. So I can have the rusty sword. Or I can uh, fight with a dagger. Can you not, like, dual wield? He looks like a badass with that, doesn't he? Whoa. Okay. Not sure why we'd want to fight with a dagger when we can fight with a bloody great huge sword, but... Oh, hey, well, now we've got... Oh, look at this. Oh, shows up on his uh, character as well. Oh, what a chopper! Hey, hey! <laughs> oh, wicked! Oh, yes! We'll be having some of that. Does it tell you? Oh, I love, the, I love the way it gives you the stats when you hover over them as well. Weapon damage minus 30%. Because it's rusted. This is damage 5 to 15, so presumably that's quite a lot better. Oh, it cannot be used in combination with the Witcher combat styles. This weapon cannot be used in combat. Ah, right, okay. Ah, so that's not so good then, is it? So why the hell would we want them? Hmm. There's, there's nothing down there, is there? Uh, can we add an exclamation mark for any? No, I haven't, did. <laughs> You're right, insert. How you doing, buddy? You haven't seen this game before? Well, come and watch us and enjoy the show, mate. <laughs> 